welcome to another Coffee Dog Tuesday. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, well, you know what's going to happen. This is Blind Pomegranate Tarot, and I am Christine. And just a brief overview for those who are new here. This right here is Armenian coffee. It's got a lot of coffee grounds in it because it's very finely milled. And so I'm going to drink You can already see it on the sides of the cup. <laughs> I'm going to drink it. And in the bottom is going to leave the coffee grinds. And I am going to show you how I learned from my great grandmother how to read the coffee grounds. And it's a wonderful way to practice your intuition. So having said that, today we are talking about, well, I'm going to share with you the fact that I am legally blind, visually impaired, and am going blind. You can see in the background here, this is my cane. I call him Sticky. Um, yeah, I need a better name for that. But <laughs> that's what I call it. If you have a better name for me, comment down below. Let me know. Probably my king would appreciate it. Uh, and I'm going to talk to you about how my vision impairment has affected my abilities of my other senses, including my quote unquote sixth sense, but also how it has influenced my regular senses, my hearing. Uh, my taste, my smell, my touch, those kind of senses, and, and how I believe it has helped me to grow my intuitive or my sixth sense. And then we will discuss maybe how you can do the same, uh, because I had the experience of going through it, and um, I think it's something that can help you a great deal. And that's what we're here for on Coffee Talk Tuesday. So what I'm going to do right now is... Um, well, actually, let me explain first. What I have is something called retinitis pigmentosa. That was a big word to learn when I was eight years old. <laughs> and it's genetic, it's uh, degenerative, and there is no current treatment or cure for it. Now, uh, like I said, I've known about this my whole life. And so it's always something that I've lived with. I have never in my life and will never in my life utter the words, why me? Because this is how... I was made. This was my purpose to come here, to come back. And this was my purpose. So I have learned a lot. Some things that I have learned, maybe I would have never known had I not been going blind. Maybe I would have never been as attuned to had I not been going blind. Uh, how to appreciate things in a different way that most people don't ever get a chance to, to, to see or witness or feel. And for me, that's a blessing. So I am going to show you guys, I'm going to insert it here in just a second. And while you guys watch a little short uh, video about how, uh, what I see and what you see and how you can tell what I'm looking at, I'm going to drink my coffee and I'm going to go ahead and start that now. Okay. So here's a picture of fall because you know, who doesn't love fall? And so that's what you would see. And then the next image is going to be of uh, what I see through my left eye and what I see through my right eye. And you can tell that in my right eye is much, much worse. I'm almost completely blind in my right eye. But additionally, I have um, some very large floaters um, in both eyes, but especially in my right eye. And there it is. And in my right eye, I'm almost completely blind. Um, surgery is an option to take the floaters out, but the risk is too high of losing what little bit I have left, so I don't do it. Um, but you, you get the idea, sort of, what I can see and what I can't. So I hope that helps. And we're back. <laughs> so I hope that helped you to understand uh, what I say when I say that I have a visual impairment and what, what I actually see. So that just helps you to understand me a little bit better. So that um, when I say... Oh, hang with me, guys. I'm having a difficult time reading this. There's not enough light. You'll understand why. Now, so let me add this in. This box back here, this is my intuitive box. <laughs> Inside this box are channeled messages that I have gotten from Spirit as I've meditated. It's packed full of little messages, and so I call it my intuitive box. So normally at the end of these discussions, we would pull a um, an oracle card or... Um, message from the universe card, something like that. But today I'm going to pull some stuff from my um, intuitive box because that's what we're talking about today. So 
let me run through how I have I don't know, changed through time with my vision change, how my other senses, senses have changed over time. Now, this is a something I was born with. I am clairvoyant, which means I am an empath and a medium. I have some psychic abilities, but that kind of filters in just because, well, it happens when you're, when you have abilities anyway. But what I noticed over time was, well, the first thing I noticed is my sense of hearing. Okay. So I am also clairaudient, clairsentient. Um, and so my sense of hearing, even as a child was sort of like off the scales. Good. You know, it was kind of like they were giving me that to substitute for the bad vision. <laughs> okay. And so that's always been very, very in tune to me. Now, of course, Claire audience means, you know, you're not necessarily listening with your ears, but sometimes you can. But as time went on and I started to lose my vision more and more, I noticed my sense of smell increase. And I thought, well, I can smell this and I can smell that. And I can, why is that, that scent never bothered me before, but now I can smell it like it's just piles of it, you know? And then my sense of touch has really heightened. So when I, um, I can feel things, how do I put it? Much, I'm much more tactile now. I don't know. Um, I'm much more sensitive to touch than I ever was before. Um, you know, even handshakes or someone touching you on the shoulder, that kind of thing. I'm much more skin's much more sensitive now than it ever was before. And then my sense of taste, I think went is kind of related of course to smell. Right. And so I think that that has kind of grown as my sense of smell has grown. And so as my vision has deteriorated, all of my other senses, including my sixth sense, yeah, has increased as well. And so, and I think if I had to say, well, why, why have I become more, I have my clairvoyant and intuitive abilities grown so much towards where I'm at now. <laughs> I won't tell you my age. And I think it's because I'm dependent on it more. My vision goes away. My hearing improves. My sense of smell improves and my sense of touch improves. And why? Because I'm dependent on it more. So I think I am more dependent on my intuition than I ever was before. Although, of course, I was born with this and I've always talked to spirit ever since I was very, very little. Um, I've talked about that before in other Coffee Talk Tuesdays, so we won't review that again. But I think that this is an ability, that this is something that you can use yourself, even though I, I know I have some friends on here who are also legally blind. But if you have all of your uh, senses, right? Your, your regular five senses, right? Your sight, your hearing, your smell, your taste, your touch. Maybe to improve your intuition, right? Your intuitive abilities, which like I have over the years, because I was sort of pushed in that direction because of my vision loss, that it's something that you can practice as well to improve your intuition. And you can do that in little ways, okay? I'm not saying walk around with your eyes closed, okay? <laughs> that it hurts to walk into walls and fall off curbs. Trust me, I know. So what I would suggest, though, is maybe step outside and listen to what you hear with your eyes open, okay? Then sit for a few minutes with your eyes closed and see if you notice something you hadn't noticed before. Oh, I didn't notice that person over there was talking or I didn't notice that bird that was singing and listen closely to what's around you by using your sense of hearing. Then use your sense of smell. Well, what am I smelling? Can I smell the grass? Can I smell the trees? Can I smell a skunk came by here about an hour ago? Can I, all of those things, those things may be things that you don't notice. Close your eyes and you may even notice the smell of your own laundry, right? From your shirt. All of these things you may have never noticed before, but when you remove one sense, right, your other ones kick in. And so why doesn't it follow then that your intuition can as well, if you practice, right? Or plug up your ears, 
you know, everybody's got uh, noise canceling headphones at this point, right? So put them on, go outside and look around and see what you can see. See what you can smell, see what you can feel. Can you feel the wind on your skin where maybe you didn't even realize there was a breeze happening? It's those little things, right? That when we become more in tune to those little things, we become more in tune to the nuances of our intuition. And then, right, we can help to grow it. And then we can recognize when it is our intuition or when it's just us, um, you know, our mind water, wandering, right? <laughs> Something like that. So give that a try this week. Try once or twice to just sit with your eyes closed and listen to what you can hear or cover your ears and see what you see or uh, go outside and see if you can notice the, the wind, not just the wind, but what direction is it coming from or a smell that you smell and where is it coming from? What direction is it coming from and what is that? If, somebody, if you smell cooking somewhere, what kind of cooking is that? I wonder what kind of spices they used in that. I wonder if I can smell the difference. Do you see where I'm going with this? Okay. So by doing that, much as I have, but because I was sort of forced into it, which I believe is a blessing, okay, it can help you to grow all of your other senses, including your so-called sixth sense. So let's do the coffee grinds, shall we? Now, for those of you who are new here, I have drunk my coffee and look at those grinds. <laughs> I got that one thick. So... When my great grandmother used to do this every Sunday for us, we'd drink our coffee and in the bottom it would look like this. And we turn our coffee cup upside down. Okay. And we turn it three times clockwise. Once, twice. Okay, saucer, hold still. <laughs> and three times. There we go. Okay. I'm going to set that aside for a second and I am going to move sticky out of the way. Go ahead and let me know if you think of a name for sticky. My brother thinks it's hilarious that I should have something put on it that makes it sound like a lightsaber. Actually, he's not wrong. It's pretty funny. Okay. Cup out of the way here, and I'm just gonna see what I grab out of this box, out of my intuition box. Oops, something's already falling out. Oh boy, that's a lot. Okay, well, we'll stop right there. <laughs> okay, we'll put that aside. Uh oh, is there something back there I missed? Okay. Okay. Let's see what we have to say here today. Okay, I have to bring it to the front of me. Remember we talked about how, yeah, I have a vision impairment. Hmm. <laughs> okay. This one says, <clears throat> can you see it? It says, what are your thoughts telling you? Maybe you can't read my writing. It is kind of chicken scratch. What are your thoughts telling you? Hmm. Interesting. You know what? There are some initials in here too. Let's see if we got some. No, this one says free, free. Let's see what the other one says. Hmm. Go forth, learn. Go forth, learn. Hmm. Now, these were channeled at different times. Um, but that's interesting. What are your thoughts telling you? Go forth, learn. And free. Interesting. Well, let's see what the coffee grind said. Say. Maybe that's telling us something. 
Let's practice our intuition. What do you say? A little pomegranate. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this cup over. You're going to look at it and you're going to tell me what the first thing that pops into your head is. Don't overthink it. Don't question it. Whatever it is that comes to you is correct. Okay? This is how you're going to practice your intuition and trust yourself. That's the most important part is trusting yourself. So before I turn it over and before we start to focus on the ground, what I like to do and what I ask you guys could, to do every week is you're going to put your feet flat on the floor so you are rooted to the earth. You're going to take your hands with your palms up in your lap so that you are connected to the universe. We're going to close our eyes and we're going to take a deep breath in for five. We're going to hold it for two and we're going to shoot it out our mouth for three, like blowing through a straw. And what that's going to do is it's going to push out the energy so that you can receive in new. Okay. So we'll go ahead and start now. Ready and go. Okay, let's see what the cup has to show us. Mm, it has a lot of stuff in there. So go with the first thing that comes to your mind. It, you don't necessarily have to look at it and go, that looks like a bunny. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's really, what is that image saying to you? What does that mean to you? Let me show you the sides. So what I will do later is I will, um, because I, I don't want to influence you about what I'm seeing, I will put it in the comments later. And if you put it in the comments, then we can discuss what you're seeing. I love to see it because everybody's a little bit different. And that's amazing to me. So practice this week. You know, go out. If you want to, make yourself some Armenian coffee if you're up for it. Because <laughs> that's a strong cup of coffee, ain't gonna lie. <laughs> and um, tell me what you see. And tell me what you've heard this week. If you go and, and you try using your other senses this week. And, and see if doing that helps you with your intuition. Yeah. Helps you to grow your intuition. When you become more connected to your other senses, we have them for a reason, right? When you become more connected with your other senses, is that amplifying your sixth sense or your intuitive sense for you? I'd like to know how that works out for you guys. And if you have any questions, absolutely let me know. I'll put some links down below as well to some meditations that I like to use, help you to connect with your spirit guides, with the universe, with our higher selves. And on Thursday, I am going to do a pick a card and I am going to be asking your higher self to come through and tell me which one of your other senses, your tactile senses, yes, your hearing, your, your speech, your, your, excuse me, your taste, your smell, your touch, or even your sight, okay, is the sense that you should be focusing on to help you grow your intuition. So we're going to ask your higher self that question. I think that's going to be really cool. I'm looking forward to that one. And I will see you guys on Thursday. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll talk to you later. Bye.